Hi, I'm Naira Ahuja and you're watching me on Awesome TV. I think the only regret that I have is um, doing a connection that happened naturally with somebody who, who didn't deserve it. It was emotionally very difficult for me after the last vote out. It was very difficult for me to survive inside with my own gang member. So I didn't get the chance to perform even in the... Um, last task when all the gang members were performing uh again i didn't get a chance to perform hello and welcome to telegup shop with pooja navade and today on my show i have with me naira hi naira people call hi. her cool and she likes it how about you? <laughs> <laughs> uh i like uh, when people call me a bull i like that name way better than any other thing because uh, bulls are uncontrollable bad as and sassy and my nose ring also represents that so i like to uh, be called as a bull absolutely but what happened to this uh, fearless bull how did this bull yeah. uh, get eliminated so soon so basically um i have two strong personalities in me mm -hmm. one which is very emotional and the other one is a badass so badass comes when it's required i am a very soft person i believe in positivity and uh, believing in making friends and be good with people and that's what that's how i was in the beginning and i i don't know like how uh, it all came against me because since mm -hmm. beginning i made really good friends my gang was like really close to me we were like you we we had good unity as well i think uh, having a connection with somebody who was wrong and uh, for whom everybody was against at that moment and i went against my gang not really against against but i took a stand which was required at that time that made me a villain in my gang and you know in the previous vote out since then i felt left out i felt that i was not you know getting a chance to speak about myself i was either fighting for a person or my gang where was i what did i want nobody care about it nobody cared about it so i think uh, because of the previous vote out it led to my elimination and also i'm one of the strongest contestants that's what i feel like uh, in terms of physical strength i am really good at it i have proved myself in the task as well so of course even if it's your gang you know that you know in the coming episodes you will be fighting against your own gang so of course you want to eliminate somebody who is strong uh, in my vote out uh, tanu bhumika and i weren't uh, immune at that time and of course i mean out of all these three i was strong i was i was little harmful for them in the competition tanu bhumika wasn't so i think it's a smart move also to remove somebody who is strong to eliminate the competition as well there there is a meme on your uh, social media page you know when you're part of a gang but still have a connect uh, connection with the other gang and yeah. what happens to you regret having a connection outside your gang uh i think um, i don't regret having a connection it's it's <laughs> human nature right you connect with people you make connections you make friends mm -hmm. the only regret is that that i made a connection with the wrong person mm -hmm. my choice was wrong my it was my error of judgment that uh, i could not see what other people are seeing so i think the only regret that i have is um, doing a connection that happened naturally with somebody who, who didn't deserve it but i don't regret that i had a connection with someone that's how i am you know if i like somebody if i feel like somebody like a brother to me if i feel like somebody is like a best friend for me so i would i would cherish those relations even if it's a show or is it outside the show i don't think i i have regret for that uh, but then do you do you think uh, that's a trouble maker for you your emotional side because then in during the competition the emotional side takes it over so do you do you plan to work on it and how do you look at this uh, side of uh... <laughs> so basically uh, i know that you know i am a little emotional person it gets really difficult for me to um, you know take care of myself when i am emotionally vulnerable but not even for once that has impacted my performance in the show be it gullak task be it drat task or be it anything even when i was not performing i made sure that you know i stand as a strong person when it comes to task so i think my emotional side never impacted my performance in the show but yes it was a little difficult because i was going through so much of a stuck in between two people all together so it was a 
it was a bad uh, phase for me when i just wanted to cry i wanted to have somebody with me to just tell me that where i'm going wrong or understand that you know when you when you have connection with someone when you have connection with your gang as well and you know fighting in between and there were incidents when i just wanted to cry but i was not getting that you know warmth from my gang like in one of the episodes uh, my uh, you know childhood trauma triggered and i was crying because of that and that was my one of the mistakes that i cried in front of for gang member and i i thought that the person would give me comfort or tell me that you know it's okay to have that vulnerable side instead they lied about those things in the coming vote out and they manipulated my words so i felt like what am i doing with these people i know that you are you are doing a show with unknown people who are strangers to you but i think on humanity basis anybody you know if you cry or if you show your vulnerability in front of anybody the least that they can do is either listen or keep it to themselves at least they should not manipulate those words and you know make them look like a bad person in the coming episode so it was it was emotionally very difficult for me after the last vote out it was very difficult for me to survive inside with my own gang members as i said that the way rupa was treated but rupa did something because of that she was being treated like that i don't think so i did something like that but still you know i felt like i'm the rupa of my gang uh, what do you think who were the gang member members who kind of sidelined you or poked you the most um i won't really say that somebody poked me or something they loved me they loved me as a friend and there were incidences also when they were really concerned about me because i was fighting for a wrong person but i feel uh, there was one incident in the last vote out that uh, shayan and bhumika were trying to tell me that shivet has made some comments over me and they kept on saying that we are your friends and we are trying to save you but i really don't understand the friendship when you want to save a person but you also don't tell them what is the actual situation so here i really want to point out uh, bhumika because uh, she she was the second person who said that you know this guy is not right or you know you should not trust this person but at the same time you know you have somebody outside but then you come here in the show you make a connection and you know it's little hypocrisy for me that when you do it it's fine when you plan it it's fine when the other person is real and has emotions you mock their emotions and at the same time you say that this person is wrong but you are friends with them so you know for me uh, i really don't understand what kind of personality or what kind of friendship is this because um, i feel that if if you call somebody a friend if you want to save them be genuine be realistic and you know be that friend that who actually try to save rather than just i don't know uh faking hmm. it or showing it that you are just there for it yeah, right so you think you got betrayed in this friendship i think so because uh, when everybody voted me out it was it felt like a betrayal because i have been there for everyone in the show i i when i said that you know you are my friend i was there for everybody of course there were certain miscommunications but uh, you know everybody voting out against you and that to the people who are very close to you and on top of that you put fake allegations even after knowing that i was there for the gang as a loyal person since forever so i felt like it was a betrayal uh tell me uh, naira which was the most challenging task for you uh but i haven't got the opportunity to do the task so i can't really <laughs> say that you know there was something challenging because you know i feel like i i don't know my, i mean the kind of muscles i have the kind of personality i have with the strength that, that i have like i could not get a chance to perform in the gullak task uh, okay it was a strength based task so you know i i was a first person in somebody's mind but when it comes to other type of task which is not very strength based yeah. my name wasn't being there like i don't no for what reason even in the gaming the uh, task i could have been a better attacker i have that personality that you know i am intimidating i know i can do that but i i didn't get the chance to perform even in the um last task when all the gang members were performing uh, again i didn't get the chance to perform so i think uh, it's a difficult question for me to answer that yeah. you know i haven't gotten the chance only to perform so yeah so did you speak to your gang leader about the opportunity part and how, how was it when when you felt betrayed when you felt yeah. a doubt did you had a one on one word with your gang leader 
so when i was being voted out riya ma'am was on my side sonu sud sir was on my side even prince sir also said that she is strong to me usko nikal diya hai even riya ma'am said that a person is going and you are not supposed to behave like that because even when i exposed sachin that he was the one who was this loyal who who was the one who he was the one who was a mastermind so you know even after knowing you're still fighting against it rather than being sorry or being guilty about it you have put allegations still fighting so in that case riya ma'am took my side even sonu sud sir said that you know no rodi can go back home with the tag of this loyal so were on my end uh, even i think at least gang leaders and sonu sud sir knew my potential and they took my stand you also mentioned that during one of the task uh, you uh, uh, your uh, childhood trauma triggered Uh, and you have been vocal about yeah. childhood tra- uh, trauma traumas uh, so now yeah. how, how does it impact you when you are on a you know a public platform when such thing triggers and then you have been trying to overcome such uh, traumatic situations in your life uh i think show has helped me a lot in terms of dealing with my trauma because i have been living it living with it for like several years and i always had this fear and i also uh, after going into the show i realized that i'm not homophobic i i had some misconception maybe i was not uh, aware about the meanings that everybody holds for me it was all about you know being fear of bad touch from the same sex but i realized that you know this trauma is coming even if i am meeting a straight person as well so i realize after coming to the show that i am not homophobic but it's definitely uh, triggering when you know when somebody touches you inappropriately even if the other person it doesn't belong it doesn't matter that what gender they hold but uh, with back touch it is triggering again but uh, i think uh, i'll be focusing on therapies after this and i'll be focusing on uh, opening more with female like i met so many female inside the show and they made me really comfortable beat priyanka beat bhumika beat piyu like everyone made me really comfortable around them and i think now i i am comfortable around women i am like it you know when you live with a with a trauma for so many years and then you suddenly realize that bro this is not the trauma you hold this is something else and then you find that comfort somewhere it it really uh, really it has like made me really relaxed in the show and i think the show has really helped me out in terms of understanding what this trauma was really about and life is better now hmm what do you think who will hold the victory this season uh i don't know who will but i definitely uh, want to see rishab winning the show because i feel that he's really deserving in terms of performance in terms of you know uh holding the gang and you know taking a stand when it's needed and not even just one task every time he has he has proved himself that he is he's really good at it so i think i really want to see him winning but let's see who wins the show and you know generally we see people who participate in shows they kind of take a route of bollywood <laughs> <laughs> what are your plans for this so honestly i have taken a bollywood route and then came to this show because yeah. i had been working as a behind the camera person i had been working as a crew uh, so i had done a feature film already um, as a crew so and have done web shows tv shows already so i have seen the industry from a different perspective and uh, for me uh, right now i'm not focusing on going for something like a bollywood or anything i'm just i'm just hoping that if anything is good for me that should just cross my path and let me because i have seen all of it already i i i have been through i have seen it so now there is nothing like a surprise box for me mm-hmm. but yeah being in front of the camera can be a different uh, feeling and an experience uh, in terms of bollywood or in terms of other shows so Which let me actor, uh, would you like to share screen space with uh i haven't thought about it yeah jo mil jaye yaar sabhi acche hai like i feel like everybody is if you uh, have so good fun. i'll be focusing on myself wow so from <laughs> nina you have a very strong personality hope you achieve thank you wish for my was the thank you so much to you wish you luck i think uh, because of the previous vote out it led to my elimination and also i'm one of the strongest contestant that's what i feel like uh, in terms of physical strength i'm really good at it i have proved myself in the task as well 